Yo, what's going on guys? Got a video here today from Huxon. Apparently men can't even play video games in peace anymore without modern women getting mad about it. Let's jump in. No, don't, don't. Why? Why? Because this is all you do. It's not, it's, it's all I have. You can hear the frustration in this man's voice, man. This would aggravate me to absolutely no end. You know, I swear a lot of these women who do this, who just, you know, deliberately go out there and annoy their boyfriend or their husband or whatever, um, they do it because they don't want to see the dude happy or putting attention on something else that isn't them. Very sad. But the whole gaming thing... <sighs> What's the problem? Jacqueline has this big problem too. It, 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 because it's just lazy it feels un like unless you're getting paid and there's a line right like it's cool if you want to do it every so often but to me i'm like go educate like go do something productive but what is these are the same women guys mind you that spend all of their time on social media applications okay their heads are quite literally just glued to the tiktok application and the instagram application and they're telling men that we have to always be productive why, why does a man have to be productive at every second of every day for what for you no thank you and also by the way guys if men were to go out here and actually give up their video games it wouldn't make a difference these women would still find something to complain about i'm convinced of it but according to this woman right here, men have to be productive all of the time, okay? You know, Lord forbid men have hobbies, as the meme goes. This is the problem. Like, you know, Jacqueline has a big problem with it, too. Whenever she hears the PlayStation start up, like, oh, I gotta hear the go. huffing and puffing. Yeah. But if, we were to, if I were to just have TV on, you'd be on TikTok as it is, not because paying it's, attention. It's not that, so why does it, it bother you? Because, it, because it's not the distraction of me being on TikTok and us watching TV. It's the, what you could be doing with that time. There it is, and that's what I knew it. It's I knew what it. You, could. you wanna you women wanna task us <laughs> no, so no, no, bad no, 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 no. that you're so pissed no, no, that we're taking no. time. This woman annoys the hell out of me, man. So her argument here is that men have to be doing something productive, but it's totally fine for her to go on TikTok all day while she's on, you know, or spend all day on her phone. Mind you, this guy sounds like he's talking about his wife or his girlfriend or something like that. Guys, if women are just, you know, if you're with a woman and she's just nagging you and she can't stand you playing video games and things like this, just find yourself a new woman, guys. Or It's better off being alone at that point. I, I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend time with people who do nothing but annoy me. No. From doing something. No. Wait a minute, you're enjoying things? You have time to do this video see, game? Here's the thing. Ah, here's all the things but you could be doing. here's the thing, you're enjoying it, but you could also be planning something nice for us. You know, like... <laughs> Maybe you could be planning something nice rather than spending all of your time on TikTok and Instagram and things like this, you know? Oh, but no, men have to just plan nice things for us all of the damn time. No, thank you. Why would any dude plan nice things for a woman who's annoying as hell? <laughs> some men where it's just like you are paying attention on that game talking to them uh people arguing with them people and you could be in my face it is some some men that need to give their woman uh more attention but it's just like the game is it just irritate me you irritate me what the hell are, are these nails and this attitude man also a lot of guys play games with their friends who've you know who they've had for a very long time Okay, so these dudes that are oh, just talking to people on the internet or talking to people on their game, this is how a lot of guys talk to their friends these days, man. You know, they get home from work or they clock off and they jump on uh, some video game and they like to play with their friends. So, you know, this is, to a lot of guys, this is actually them being social with their friends and hanging out. But of course, anything that doesn't give her attention, she has a problem with. Craziness, man. Absolute craziness. Men are stressed out. They come I home, they the want to play the game. It's freedom. But why as a grown man do you want to come home and play with a controller? I got something you don't play video. You don't know. You know what? I'm <laughs> mad now. I'm upset. A man, this is like his only time of like having complete freedom and something to escape reality for 20 minutes and you're trying to take you're it away from You're not doing all that with that video game. Yeah, you are. You get you to escape enter reality. Yeah. They got niggas making 
on the game. <laughs> little avatars. Like, nigga, what you want to look like? <laughs> Who the f*** is this? Who the f*** is this? No. Yeah, so this guy is being nice about it, right? But a lot of the times, men are just escaping people like this, right? You mean to tell me that I'm going to go out? What am I going to do instead, you know, go out and socialize and spend time with people like this? Dudes like to escape reality because reality is full of annoying people like this. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? Like, I totally understand if this woman's boyfriend or husband or whatever is playing video games because he's probably trying to get away from her. I think, to be honest, he should just end the relationship, but this woman's annoying as hell. No, uh, no, no, the avatar, who the f is that? Like, you know what I'm <laughs> That's not you? Yeah. What you got going on here? Ladies, do me a favor. Let your man play video games because a lot of y'all be hating for no reason and y'all taking it way too serious than you actually need to. Let me put it in perspective for you, right? You love makeup. As a little girl, you grew up playing with the Barbie dream houses and the Corvettes and all of that. So you kind of grow up and you do the same thing. You decorate your house. You do the Barbie decoration. You like to wear makeup, jewelry, paint your nails. There's a lot of different trinkets that nails. you can play with, right? It keeps you in that young mindset. It lets you tap into the child that's inside of you that never went anywhere and you don't let your man and tap into his own child as if we're not supposed to have one and you are. If you want your man to show his happiness and some of that childlike quality and energy inside of him, let him play his game. I let him play his game. Let him be a kid. I do. So if he tells any of you guys that game with him that are watching, yeah. he's lying. I let him play his game. <laughs> she, she let him play. <laughs> She let him play. I let him play. You know, honestly, though, I get, he does, he's a busy guy. When I do see him on his game, I'm like, it makes me happy. And I really do care about, like, your mind. And so when I know you're playing your games, I'm like, I love it. Here's the deal. If your dude ain't taking care of his business, though, like, if he's just out here just dirty, ain't wash his ass, you know he's he's missing work he's going to, he's going to, he's not sleeping i'm not talking about those situations but yeah. like he's a grown ass man he's providing he's not doing nothing wrong let him have his little break yeah guys you know if he's paying the bills if he's working his backside off he can have his little game uh no thank you right this is the thing guys this is i i really don't like this kind of attitude here right men need to do this men need to do that uh, no, they don't, okay? And trying to pull out this, oh, well, he's a grown-ass man. I mean, sure, whatever, right? Obviously, dudes should be taking care of their hygiene. They should be doing their best to get good sleep, things like this, whatever, okay? But don't throw this, oh, he's a grown man. He has to do this thing at me, right? Because men are so hit sick of hearing this stuff of what we should and shouldn't be doing with our time that a lot of guys, when they hear this sentence from you, they're just going to do the complete opposite. And I don't blame you because these men don't want to be bossed around. They're not interested, okay? So this woman's argument here is, you know, as long as he's handling business and key word in there that she said, being a provider, then he can have time on his little game. Oh, well, thank you so much, Queen, for allowing him his time on the video game after he's paid your bills. Get the hell out of here, bro. He's a grown ass man. He's providing. He's not doing nothing wrong. Let him have his little break. Let him play a game. Your man will be happy. <laughs> just just make happy. Sure, just give him a limit, ladies. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, right? Pay the bills, and then we're also going to, you know, limit his game time. As long as he's providing, he can have some game time. But of course, like a child, we have to limit it. Interesting. You know, this is what I'm talking about when I say that some of these women will just behave like your second boss. And dudes don't want this. They don't want to come home from work and then have a timer set for them. No. A lot of guys would just rather be alone. They'd rather be by themselves than deal with this nonsense. And I don't blame them, man. I really don't. What's one thing that just makes you extremely upset and you can't explain why? Honestly, this is probably going to sound really bad, but it's when my boyfriend hangs out with his friends. <laughs> I think one reason is definitely because I'm jealous of him because he's had the same amazing group of friends since he was five years old and I've never had a consistent group of friends ever and I know that it's normal for friends to change as you grow up but his friends have always been the same and I kind of wish that I had that because even all through high school I was one of those people who was in every single group and activity so I was friends with everybody but I never hung out with anybody. I am an adult. I think this is true, actually, guys, of a lot of modern women, right? I think dudes are far more inclined to 
have a group of friends that they stick with for many years at a time, if not their entire life, I think modern women are far less likely of this. Right? I see so many like girlfriends and girl groups, and oftentimes, man, I swear they don't even like each other. Right? But dudes are different. If if a man doesn't like you, chances are you're going to know that the dude doesn't like you. But with women, man, they'll be friends with each other, they'll have fallings out, they'll make up with each other and blah blah blah, and they'll have disliked each other the whole damn time. <laughs> Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Dudes will have a disagreement. They'll either move past it or whatever. And if they don't, then you'll just know that that guy doesn't like you at all. And that's, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, this woman says she has no friends at all. Or she, her friend group constantly changes and she hasn't really got any actual genuine friends. I think this is true of a lot of women, guys. You know, they have all of these followers on Instagram. But for some reason, they have no real friends. I wonder why that is. Video games are for children. Wow. And so me <laughs> in dating, I would rather you have a hobby that's not video games. Something that enlightens you. You don't like video games do that at all. I mean, I ain't gonna hold you. My favorite video game growing up, it was Frogger. So I'm just helping a frog cross that the street. Track. Oh on. my God. <laughs> no, all arguments invalid. Frogger? <laughs> of one. all the Wait, amazing I games out. I got another Frogger. One. I got another one. Grand Theft Auto. GTAs, you want to your on Grand, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Before you decided to keep this going as a grown man. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which I have made very, very lucrative for myself. And, and by the way, have you all, were you always a gamer? I grew up playing games like Final Fantasy VII, you don't know it. Kingdom Hearts 2, you don't know it. Man, Kingdom Hearts 2 was fire back in the day. Mega Man X, which I'm gonna get him iced out here. You don't know it. Mortal Expensive. Kombat. Uh huh. Still like that. Name one Mortal Kombat character. Um. <laughs> yeah. He knows, right? This woman. She has no idea, man. She doesn't. She's not a video gamer. She's not absolutely anything. But it's just wild to me how this woman here. Um. You know, this is the individual who is telling men that they can't play video games, right? And. Like, you can't, what, what's the consequence here? We can't date you if we play video games. I mean, that just sounds like nothing but positives to me. It's, it's crazy, man. People will jump on the internet and they have all of these demands for their man and all of these different things that men have to do. Um, when, number one, no, we don't. Number two, guys, if you go ahead and give up your hobbies, you give up your video games or whatever, insert whatever it is that the woman in question is complaining about, I guarantee you she'll find something else to complain about anyway. Um, and also, a lot of the men, particularly the men who these women jump in bed with very quickly, you know, the attractive men on dating applications and things like this. I mean, it doesn't matter if these dudes play video games, right? But it matters if the provider plays video games because then attention and resources are going somewhere else that isn't her. And of course, they have a problem with that. Uh huh. Still like that. Name one Mortal Kombat character. Um. Anybody else just absolutely hates video games and when their boyfriend plays video games because I feel like I'm a bad girlfriend but I just cannot stand it and I don't know what to do. Like I tried multiple strategies of discouraging that habit and I'm really trying to be more accepting and think about why does it trigger me so much and how can I reflect on wait 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 you're telling me that this woman's boyfriend playing video games literally she says it triggers her that is damn hilarious man you know I bet if we went to a lot of these videos in the comments right if you have a woman complaining about their boyfriend playing video games, I think a lot of the comments would be telling these women to actually go out there and break up with their boyfriends. Find you a real man. Find you, you know, some giga chat who doesn't play games and who will provide for you and be obsessed with you 24-7, but of course not too obsessed because you don't really like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all of these women would be being encouraged by the TikTok uh, womanist mob to get rid of their boyfriends if he plays video games, right? It's turned into a meme these days, guys, actually, in a lot of comment sections and things like this. You know, Lord forbid men have hobbies. It'll be something completely awful and criminal. And then somebody in the comments will drop a comment like, oh, you know, Lord forbid men have hobbies. It's actually become a meme at this point because so many women dislike dudes having normal hobbies. This shit. But the truth is that it doesn't trigger me because he doesn't have time for me. 
or because he doesn't put attention on me. I don't think so. I think what triggers me is the priorities. Like, why is playing with your friend your priority, you know? It's not even like, oh, you need to spend time with me. But, I don't know. I just really hope there is somebody who can relate with me. <laughs> like, please relate, because I feel like the world's girlfriend ever sometimes. Just um, ranting all the time about it and being a bitch. Isn't it crazy to think, guys, that so much of society will be like, oh, men need to socialize more. They need, you know, the reason why dudes are unaliving themselves at such high rates and things like this, the reason why so many dudes are suffering from mental health issues is because they don't communicate with each other enough. So men set aside spaces and hobbies to communicate with each other and unwind. And of course, the exact same women who are saying this crap have a problem with it. Isn't that wild to think about? Right? Why would a man like to talk with his friends or play video games with his friends? I don't know. Maybe they're, you know, that's because he's, they're his friends. But what is even the question here, man? Dudes like to spend time with their friends. This is such a stupid line of questioning, right? Why do women like to spend time with each other and talk and, I don't know, do whatever it is that women do these, these days? You know what I'm saying? It's like, because they want to. They want to have friends. They want to talk to one another. They want to have their hobbies. Cool, knock yourself out. Right? Like, why is it such an issue, man? Because I don't know how to handle it better. I just feel like I'm working on my dreams all the time. I'm so, like, ambitious and hardworking. And I don't need anyone to praise me or whatever. I just want to feel like I'm not alone on it. in it. You know what? Yeah, she's ambitious. She's hardworking. So she wants her man to be on that grind all of the damn time and making that money. That's what it's about, man, right? Attention and resources going somewhere else that isn't towards her. And also, people who jump on the internet, it's always strange to me, man. The people who jump on the internet and they say they are a certain way, I guarantee you they're not a certain way. Oh, I'm ambitious and I'm successful and I'm this and I'm that. As soon as people start espousing what kind of person they are, I just don't believe it until I see proof. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm ambitious, I'm this, I'm that. Just sounds like you're a headache to, as a girlfriend, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Like, I want to cook nice dinner, eat healthy, exercise, run my business, have friends and social life, be a good girlfriend. What do you think her business is, guys? And do you think it's successful? Right? Because oftentimes when I see these TikTok videos of these, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. Or like, I'm a, I'm a strong, successful career woman. It's like an Instagram page with like a couple hundred followers and they're reselling like eyelashes and crap like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like completely not business women at all, not making any money whatsoever. They're like, yeah, I'm an, I'm an ambitious career woman and I want uh, my man to be ambitious as well. That's why he can't play video games. Now, Grant, I don't know, this woman could be a millionaire for all I know, which if she is, great for her, that's awesome. Uh, but the general trend of these videos is these women are absolutely full of it. But I just don't feel the support. Like, why don't you just cook dinner one day? Because you play with your fucking friend. I don't know if this is a reflection of me being a bad person or if it's really just like... not a me problem. Like, if you have any tricks, what the fuck do you do? My boyfriend and I have been dating for almost four years now and living together for almost two. We really love each other, and I think both hope to move on to marriage and kids someday. But the problem is, he plays video games every day. If it was up to him, he would be gaming nonstop morning to night. This is a huge red flag and a turnoff for me and has caused most of our major fights. I'm worried that it seems like he doesn't have any other interests or desires to live life outside of gaming and watching sports. I find it hard to imagine my life with children married to a man that just wants to stay inside every day and game. We've talked about this issue and he promises that he will change, but even when we go out to dinner or on a quick walk, it seems like he's just rushing to get through it to get back to gaming. This is such a turnoff and a problem for me. Help. It's a turnoff and a problem for me. And can you imagine if dudes were making, um, you know, saying things like this, submitting questions to podcasts like this, man? Oh, my girlfriend spends all day on TikTok and I'm just worried about her. You know, she's, she's, uh, it's going poorly for our relationship, man. I mean, so many of these modern women 
If you were to look at their screen times on their mobile phones, I would argue oftentimes it would match the dudes who spend their time gaming, to be honest. Right? If you were to take how many seconds in every day that these women have their phone in their hands and are looking at their damn screen, I think it would actually rival the dudes who are playing their video games in the first place. So it's always kind of weird to me when I see these women say, oh, this is such a turnoff for me and this is a problem for me. That's nice. Didn't really ask and don't care. <laughs> you see, like, you see what I'm saying? But hey, if, you know, if it's completely ruining your ability to live life and, you know, you're struggling to pay bills and things like this, probably not the best idea to be video gaming and stuff like that. But me personally, guys, I don't give a damn if it's a turn off for some woman that I play video games, for example. If anything, that just makes me want to play video games some more. Oh, it's a problem for you, is it? Really didn't ask and I don't particularly give a damn help one thing that i'm thinking of is talk about your schedules what are your schedules like your how how like what's your work schedule at home schedule and figure out a time where it's like this time is slotted specifically for us at least during the week i mean this would be a deal breaker for me if i was with someone who only spent their time playing video games or watching sports and like if this was all consuming to them where this was all that they could think about they weren't helping me do things they didn't want to make plans on the weekends get out of the house do other things because that's important to me is to go out do activities and other things together this would be a deal breaker for me Ah, uh, yes, the classic modern New York woman. She likes to go outside very often and do lots of activities and things like this. You know, always going to be doing some sort of social event, hitting up the, uh, hitting up the clubs and whatnot. I've heard particularly awful things about trying to date women in New York specifically, guys. A lot of these uh, large metropolitan cities and stuff where they are liberal-leaning, shall we say, um, most definitely for the women who live in those places. You know, dudes don't want to spend time with these women anyway, man. These are women who can barely get a relationship to save their damn lives. Any of the dudes who they actually want don't want to commit to them. So I don't really give a damn uh, what your deal breakers are. And I don't think a lot of guys really care what your deal breakers are. That's your own problem, right? You want to sit here on podcasts and you want to say how this turns you off and you don't like when men do this and you don't like when men do that. Um, a lot of guys are going to hear this crap and they're going to say, oh, okay, don't care. And then they're just going to keep playing their video games. Because again, not a lot of incentive these days for men to go outside of these spaces. You know, I did a video yesterday. Uh, I think it was, depending on the time of release for this particular video, okay? And it was about a lot of men who are withdrawing from the workforce in general. I also think a lot of men are just being removed from the workforce in general in favor of diversity hires and things like this. But, um, you know, a lot of guys are choosing not to work in these corporate positions and things like this because there isn't really a lot of incentive for men to do it, right? Like men, are, men barely have an incentive to get into a relationship with modern women these days and you're going to sit here and talk about your boundaries and your preferences. This is going to fall on deaf ears, man. But um, let me tell you right now, the men are not going to care what you have to say. This would be a deal breaker for me. What I'm about to tell you is a little difficult to open up about. It makes me very vulnerable because it's a bit of a sensitive topic. Yeah, it's all about you, isn't it? This woman's tag on this video, by the way, before we continue, says video games are triggering to me. Tr triggering. We might, we might put that in the damn title, man. That's so funny. You know, gone are the days where people actually use triggering and things like this to describe actual PTSD of things like war veterans and people who serve their country and things like this. Um, now it's about liberal women on TikTok being annoyed that their men play video games and they're getting triggered by it. I always really dislike these people's um, use of words, <laughs> to, be, to be honest with you, right? We're throwing around triggering and I've got PTSD over this and that. And I just think, man, what a disrespect to, for example, people who serve their country, right? They've had friends who no longer exist, shall we say, been in awful combat situations. Those are people who probably have things like PTSD, not you on TikTok talking about your triggers. Get out of here, bro. And to others, it might not be sensitive at all. So you might be like, why? So please don't shame me or be rude. My bad. So I get triggered when my partner plays video games. And here's why. Reason number one, I think this triggers me is because two of my past relationships have been with boyfriends that spent a majority of their free time playing video games. 
And what do you spend your free time doing? Ranting on TikTok? Like, let's hold up a mirror here for a second and talk about what you do with your spare time. I guarantee you the women who have a problem with men playing video games, if you were to examine what they do with their spare time, holy hell, it would be a, a complete nothing burger, man. One of them, for example, I would be over hanging out with him and he would just be playing video games for hours and I would be sitting there so bored just watching him play for seriously like four to five hours, maybe more. Another one of them, I didn't really have to watch him play much because he was always playing at his house when I wasn't there, but I was working all the time to try to build up a savings and he did not have a job and lived with his parents and would just play video games nonstop. So I kind of felt like I'm working for my future and which I hope is our future and like working so hard and you're not working at all because you're just playing video games. You know what, guys? Again, I see the woman's point here, right? If you, if it's interfering with your life and things like this, you're still living with your parents. Um, I think it's probably a good idea to, you know, get your own space, live away from your parents, things like this. Um, but it's, it's funny to me, man, these women's dating habits, right? The consecutive failed relationships, the consecutive relationships of being with dudes that they don't particularly like. You know, if you don't want to be with the guy, if his gaming habits bother you, fine, screw off then, you know? But of course, we have to record TikTok videos complaining about uh, men's gaming habits and things like this. Again, guys, you know, don't adjust your video game habits because some woman on the internet told you to. Right, or because some woman is triggered that you play video games. If you're going to do it, at least you know change your habits so that they're constructive for your life, not because some woman demanded it of you. Hell, half of these women in this video, to be honest, don't even qualify as a woman in my opinion. Like, what the hell was this individual here on this podcast? I was crazy. And then he answered with, I could become a professional video game player and make a ton of money. And at the time I was just like, this is not realistic at all. He's never become a professional video game player. I I'll tell you what, a lot of these guys who are playing um, games on the internet, streaming and things like this, they make a bag, man. Even the small streamers, right? The guys who don't pull um, a lot of like viewers on Twitch and other streaming platforms and things like this. I mean, I've seen dudes make a healthy living from streaming video games, right? It might not be the career that you're used to, right? It might not be the thing that you want him to do with his time, but there are certainly a lot of people who are quite successful at this. Professional video games is a lot more difficult. You have to be best of the best of the best. Um, and as far as I know, the pay isn't even as good as just streaming your own damn games to your own viewer base and things like this. But of course, right, we have to, it has to be done her way, doesn't it? I know there are many. Second reason I think it triggers me is the sound, the violence. Um, I'm probably neurodivergent. I've never been diagnosed with ADHD, but my mom has, my little brother has. What does ADHD have to do with the contents of the video game? I, I don't know. Some Someone let me know in the comments, right? Some, if you're versed in this particular field, what on earth does having a undiagnosed ADHD have to do with the sound effects and the violence in your boyfriend's video games. Isn't ADHD like an attention deficit disorder? Do you have difficulty focusing? What does that even got to do? Man, we're just throwing around words, I swear. My little brother has. You know what I just really hate about men is that they can go to a golf course by themselves, have no problem joining a group of guys and playing with them for 18 holes. And all of a sudden it's like their best friend uh, and they hang out with them every weekend. And I just, the audacity of men to be able to do that is ridiculous uh, because girls, not a shot, not a shot that that would happen. I don't even know what kind of activity uh, that would be allowed in for girls. But if you guys do know of one, specifically in Salt Lake City, let a girl know because she needs friends. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Uh, that sounds like a you problem. Right, so we open up this video with her listing what she hates about men. Uh, always a fantastic place to start in a particular video. Um, but apparently she doesn't like seeing men make friends over games. 
I mean, guys, this is the kind of crap I'm talking about, right? It's like, dudes just have very little incentive to have relationships with these women. Imagine considering this woman for a relationship, you know, you're thinking about making her your girlfriend or something like this, and you go to her TikTok, and it's just videos like this of her listing things that she doesn't like about dudes, and one of them is dudes making friends. It's not, it's not even anything she, you know, that might be genuine. Maybe there's some genuine grievances that you don't like men doing, but dudes making friends over golf is a pretty insane stretch, right? I'm sure there are many more annoying things that we men do that you could probably list, but really, making friends? Oh, hell no. Guys, we're going to be leaving today's episode there. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves, keep gaming, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.